The Action Bible. Too Many Sons, based on Genesis 21, 1 through 21. After the destruction of Sodom, Abraham decides to move to a new place. He leads his growing clan to the Negev region near the desert. The angels who visited Abraham had told him Sarah would have a son. One year later, their prediction comes true. Who would have thought that I would ever have a son? I am too old, but I'm holding a baby in my arms. I'll never doubt God's promises again. Abraham has named his son Isaac. What will become of Ishmael, his first son? He might have become our ruler, but now the baby, Isaac, will be next in line after Abraham. I'm sure it won't be a problem. Tension grows between Sarah and Hagar over their sons at baby Isaac's first feast. Look. Aha, look how clumsy little Isaac is. Ishmael, be quiet. Sarah is angry. What will she do about Ishmael? Hagar's son can't make fun of mine. Abraham, you must send Ishmael and Hagar away before they cause real trouble in the tribe. Night after night, Abraham asks God how to solve this family problem. Finally, God answers him, Do what Sarah says, but I will fulfill my promise through Isaac. But don't worry about your first son, Ishmael. I will take care of him and his mother. Early one morning, because of Sarah's jealousy, it is better that you and Ishmael leave. Don't be afraid. God will watch over you. Day after day, Hagar and Ishmael wander through the burning sand. One fear pounds in Hagar's mind. Will I have enough water until we find an oasis? At last, the dreaded moment comes. There's no more water, mother. I am dying of thirst. I know, son. So am I. Lie down in the shade of the bush. Oh, God, don't make me watch my child die. Dead tired and choking with thirst, Hagar turns her back on her son Ishmael. She cannot stand to watch him die. Suddenly, she hears a voice. The angel of God says, Lift the boy up. I will make him a great nation. Hagar starts toward her son and sees a spring of water. Water! We will not die, Ishmael. God has saved us. Knowing God is with them, Hagar and Ishmael continue their journey and build a home in the wilderness. Years pass. Eventually, Ishmael marries an Egyptian girl and becomes the head of a great desert tribe.